Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Mrs. Bye to Beentje. Now, I have to confess, last week I was with a holiday and so, hence no video. But I'll definitely make it up by um, posting one this week and one next week. Let's talk Danny A Pinnacle by Seamwork. Now, the pattern descri uh, description in my own words is a sleeveless dress that could be worn over a sweater or a blouse or a sweatshirt. It has a V-neckline, it has darts in the front on the bodice as well as on the skirt. The skirt moves away from the body. It has no closure in seam pockets. The pattern pieces, the amount of pattern pieces are six. I made size zero. The amount of fabric required is 1.2 or I only had one because I used this one for my stash. And um, the width of the fabric was 140. Uh, do keep in mind that I did not line it, but the, the pinafore from Seamwork is fully lined. So the sewing instructions, I have uh, zero comments. <laughs> and second of all, they have uh, a community that can help you out. They're very active on Instagram. Um, they have also their snippets on YouTube. So this video is not sponsored, FYI, but I like the product that they're presenting because it's a whole product. It's not half, you know what? Uh, oh, wait, I did have my issue, but I feel like the issue presented itself because I did not line my pinafore, but I had an issue with the V-neck and I'll, when I, I'm styling it. I'm going to let you know how I solved it. The fit. It turned out a little short. They do specify this in their description that it is mid tie. Uh, I figured that it would have been a little longer, but it's not. And so um, there are lines on the pad on the skirt on, um, that you can lengthen or shorten. I would lengthen the skirt and maybe even lengthen the bodice so that it will drop down just a little my favorite part this is Danny by Seamwork and as I explained earlier in the video the only thing that I don't like about it is the fact that the skirt is literally hitting mid tie so it is true to the description let's step on a stool I decided to match, I mean, style it with a turtleneck and my flat shoes, black tights. The black tights gives me a little more comfort due to the length of the skirt. And I opted for flats because the skirt is so short. I didn't want to create more distance between my shoe and the end of the skirt. I mentioned that I wanted to style everything around the Alice shirt. This is not the Alice shirt. I made the Alice shirt and two things. One, I didn't want to present it now because I have it for my next video. And second, I swatched the fabrics together. They looked really good. However, when I made it, I found that it didn't really look as how I had it in my head. And so I opted to wear something that I already own because you can mix and match. I did do a little sewing uh, to keep the v-neck down because I did not line it so it's not fully lined I did the same for under the side seam the shoulder seam so it could keep the facing on the inside that's what I did as always I enjoy making this video I hope you enjoy watching don't be afraid to comment down below if you have any questions or just want to say hey and have a great great day Bye.